I got two great smartwatches for you today. I have the new Garmin Venue 3 and the even newer Apple Watch Series 9. And today we will check out which one is the better smartwatch. And first up, let's start with the battery life. So right here I have the Apple Watch 9 and basically every Apple Watch has a big problem. The Apple Watch 9 or even the Apple Watch 8 and 7 don't last longer than a day with the always in display mode enabled. It's only 18 hours at most and if you turn on the battery saving mode, you can double that number. The Garmin Venue 3, like every Garmin watch, is great when it comes to the battery life. On your normal everyday usage, you get about 14 days of battery life out of it and still 4 days if you turn on the always in display mode. The really funny thing is that you get up to 26 hours of battery life if you have the GPS running without the music. Even like this, the Venue 3 will last way longer than the Apple Watch Series 9. As for the activity tracking, both watches do have a few sport modes, but nothing close to the Galaxy Watch 6, but you don't really need all of that. What you get on these two watches is in most cases more than enough. You can track all of the standard modes like swimming, running, triathlon and many more, plus you can set alerts and goals. Just the Venue 3 may have a slight advantage right here as you can do specific workouts within the sport modes. Like for running, cycling, strength training and many other, you have different workout options which is a great thing to have on a sport and smartwatch. As for the built-in GPS, both watches do great. The now 5 satellite systems that you get on the Venue 3 are very accurate for most of the time. I did find some small errors if you are close to higher buildings in the city and the lines get a little wobbly, whereas the GPS on the Apple Watch 9 pretty much stays consistent throughout the whole tracking session. And if you're interested, the step counting and the mileage on both watches are almost the same. I also want to mention that you can customize your workout display on the Garmin Venue 3. There are 4 different metrics that you can change. So like this you can switch from your heart rate over to your pace, cadence or many other workout metrics. The biggest difference that you will find in these two smartwatches is the health tracking. On the Garmin Venue 3 you get way more health trackers that are also as accurate as the ones that you get on the Apple Watch Series 9. Not only do you get a normal heart rate tracker, sleep and stress tracking, respiration rate and a Garmin body battery, but also the HRV status which is your heart rate variability. There is a sleep coach that will tell you how long you have to sleep in the next night based on your last sleep and other health metrics. And the last new stat are the workout benefits. This one shows you how the workout impacts your fitness and you see that after your workout in the workout history, plus it tells me how it impacted my body battery as well. The Apple Watch 9 comes with the female cycle tracking, you have your sleep, SpO2 and heart rate tracker, breathing exercises and the ECG function that you won't find on the Garmin watch but overall you have a lot more options on the Venue 3 with more insights. In the price we don't really get such a big difference. Of course it depends on what watches you compare but to keep it fair I take the 45mm Bluetooth version of the Apple Watch Series 9 and the 45mm Garmin Venue 3. The aluminum version of the Apple Watch 9 comes in at a price of 480 euros, whereas the stainless steel Garmin Venue 3 will cost you 500 right now. If you now get the stainless steel version of the Apple Watch in the same size, this one goes up to 850 euros. So depending on the model that you want of the Apple Watch, you can pay between 450 and 850 euros. The price for the Venue 3 always stays the same, but there is also only a smaller version, the Venue 3S with 41mm available. Next up, let's talk a little bit about the specs and the design. You can get the Garmin Venue 3 in two different sizes. You have the bigger 45mm version and the smaller 41mm version, which is the Garmin Venue 3S. But let's focus on the bigger one now. This one has a 1.4 inch armor display with an always on display mode, which is great, but zaps a lot of your battery life. On the edges of the watch, the display curves a little bit towards the stainless steel bezel. We have a 22mm silicon strap with a quick release feature. And I do gotta say that the straps feel not as soft as the ones that you get on the Apple Watch 9. It feels pretty sturdy. Now as we know from Garmin watches, the Venue 3 is water resistant up to 5 ATM and we have corner Gorilla Glass for the display protection. On the side of the watch you get 3 physical buttons of which the middle one is customizable and you can connect this one to any of your apps on your smartwatch. By default you will get to your recent apps and voice assistant, the lower one takes you to your app menu and the upper one opens up your apps or activities. Right here you can just swipe left and right to get to either one. The Apple Watch 9 comes in a lot of different variations, 41mm and 45 cellular and Wi-Fi, aluminum and stainless steel. Now right here I have the larger 45mm aluminum version, 
This one has a large 1.9 inch Retina LTPO OLED display which lights up with a peak of 2000 nits. Now like I said, you have an aluminum frame, ceramic sapphire crystal glass back and a sapphire crystal glass for the display protection. This watch weighs in at 51 gram, it is only compatible with iOS devices and you have the typical Apple watch design. Very curvy edges with two physical buttons on the side of which the upper crown is rotatable and you can zoom in and out of your app menu or scroll through your notifications and workouts. And the lower one is customizable. The Garmin Venue 3 is compatible with both iOS and Android smartphones even though you get a small hit with the reply options if you pair the Venue 3 with an iPhone. Next up let's talk about the features and the Apple Watch Series 9 definitely has a few more but first up let's see what they have in common. First up both have internal storage so you can download mini apps from either the Garmin IQ Connect store or the Apple store and get mini games, productivity apps and music streaming apps but you definitely have a better and bigger variety on the Apple store. Also on Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music and others you can download songs right to your watch and listen to songs offline but also whole playlists and podcasts are available. There's a voice assistant and a phone feature, it's Siri for Apple and Siri, Google or Bixby on the Venue 3. Right here it depends which voice assistant you have on your smartphone. But now with the Apple Watch 9, you can even use the Siri voice assistant offline to start some of your workouts and do other actions. Besides what I just mentioned, the Garmin Venue 3 doesn't come with more features. Whereas on the Apple Watch 9, you have the crown on the side of the watch with which you can scroll through your notifications, workouts, zoom in and out of your app menu. You have a much brighter display and have a better and prettier selection of watch faces. These ones are not only the normal analog and digital watch faces, but you can use a few of your photos to create a watch face. There are animated watch faces which I really like a lot and on others you can scroll with the crown to change what is happening on the watch face. But at least on both watches you can customize the watch faces and change the display metrics, colors and other things. On the Apple Watch 9 you have mini gesture controls like always but now also the double tap feature which allows you to start and decline calls by double tapping your fingers. You can start and stop timers and do many other things. You get a pill reminder, it checks your surrounding noises, an upgraded Find My Device feature and a few small others. Overall you can say that the Apple Watch 9 is by far the better smartwatch and the Garmin Venue 3 is the slightly better sport watch. If I would have to choose between the Garmin and the Apple Watch, I would go with the Apple even though I am a big Garmin fan. There's just so much more that you can do on the Apple Watch 9. Of course you can't use an Android phone like this but if you already have one like me, you have the free choice. And guys, that's already it for today. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It would definitely help me out a lot. And I guess with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.